Welcome to Cynthia Porter Studio. I'm Cindy and this is my exploration into art. So before we get started, why don't you go ahead and hit that thumbs up and subscribe to me if you're not, I'd really appreciate it. Now let's get started. For the colors of my roses in my blooms, I wanted to use darker colors, something foreboding, since this is representing a pretty dramatic drama. And I really wanted to use Rose Mater by Arteza, but I didn't have it, so I made up as close as I could to it. And I think I did get pretty close with that red and the dioxazine purple. And if you have any questions about a color I use or a technique, feel free to ask me in the comments and I will happily answer them. Let's put on a little music. I decided my flowers needed a little bit more of a pop, so I did add some 24 karat gold by DecoArt to my flowers. I also did some flowers with some custom green and 24 karat gold. i 
gosh, I really love this, just like this. But I'm going to have to get out the cats. <laughs> That's Bristol and Babs. And I'm going to keep going. Spend my time alone with you. about 30 minutes to get all this tape on here and I'm not going to put you all through that. <laughs> When using joint compound for texture, you want to wait 24 hours before you apply your gesso. Also, I think the thinner the better is what I have learned. And when you're using the roller, you want to really soak that in water. I sprayed my roller down really well. That way it doesn't stick to it. I've really enjoyed playing with it and it might show up again sometime. I hope you enjoyed this series, and I hope it's something you might want to play with. Let me know in the comments. Is it a do or a don't? And we can't forget the brother and sister turned husband and wife, so they're definitely going to be in this third piece. When applying your gesso, you want to be sure to get into all the cracks and the crevices, but you also want to make sure you're not covering up all your good texture you've just made. So you want to go in and fine tune that.
after applying the gesso, you need to wait an hour before you can add the paint. Now to say that I am anxious about removing that tape is an understatement, and I'm praying to the paint gods. I never got it, what you have to go? I guess this world's too slow for you. I think there's beauty in the gray, the cold, but you just want the gold. And there's no way I can beat it, cause I got no chance, no chance when it comes to her. She got the glitter and the fame, and I, I just wasn't enough for you. Amsterdam Prussian blue, Payne's gray, turquoise, and a little bit of that 24 karat gold to cover up the edges of my structured piece. Over 35 different skins were made to create this piece. I'm not going to take you guys through me pasting every single one of them. That would be a little bit too boring. But I am going to take you through a few of them. Just to make sure that you get the idea.
quick word for Christmas. It's the Brick Girls Go Stateside. Cynthia Porter Studio. Matilda and Josephine. JB Poor Art. Janya Bremick. Manon Petit Art. Phoenix Flow Art. Louise McKay Art. Oak by Bettina. Amy's Acrylic Artistry. It's not just paint, it's art by Donna. December 18th, a one day crossover event. You won't want to miss it. Set your notifications. she is folks my 24 by 60 Cindy piece <laughs> it was so much fun and took so long to do but I enjoyed every moment of it and I hope you did too and I wanted to point out right here one of the kittens yes did walk on the painting and if anybody does buy this painting I will happily make another flower to put over that but I think it gives it a little more texture well, not texture character Anyways, I need to thank some of the um, artists that have inspired me to do this piece. First, we have Sergio Armanda from Sergio Armanda Art. Then we have Tiffany of Tiffany Remind Art. <laughs> then we have Adonna of It's Art by Donna, who's always there with a quick answer to any question I might have. So I hope you've enjoyed this show, and I hope to see you at Christmas next weekend. I want to wish you guys a bunch of peace, love, Light and lots and lots of laughter. Love y'all. Bye-bye.